Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to RimWorld. Had yeah, David spend the whole night smoothing this area out. He's getting to the end of his day and he's tired. What, what's, your, what's your needs look like? Ah, you're not too bad, you survived it. What are you doing now? You're hauling marble block to wall. Ah, okay. So I've got a whole pile of them heading up to our new plan. This whole... Oh, and we have people. We have, we have visitors. A lot happened in the few hours in between last episode and this one. But I have decided to go ahead and separate this whole area out. And to do so, four geothermal generators has about the equivalent wattage of five sun lamps. So we threw one more in over here to make a self-contained system. Though we're adding a whole bunch of auto doors, so a lot of power there. So I threw in one wood fire generator to make up for that four batteries coming out of this bank right here may as well just steal something that we already own don't have to, to build it from scratch again and then we got the one heater there and the one heater here to supplement the heat coming out of these generators and maybe we'll run walls like this and over to tap this heat into here eventually but right now let's just see we can't get this perimeter put in so I got a whole bunch of them assigned to grab blocks and just start dropping them off all over here and all over here see if we can't get most of the of the perimeter at least filled in and you know get to work uh, sealing it up through the episode and next episode in and around some form of impending raid we don't know what's what's going on there so that is that plan and then split it off right there. In fact, I think by splitting off, what I mean is putting in a switch. Uh, power switch. Mm, does it really doesn't matter where? Plop it right in the middle. Okay, switch right there. We can put them back together again when we need and we're desperate for power on one side or the other because something went wrong. So <laughs> that's one possibility. We blow a zit on one of these and and there's just no way to get the system going again we can tap by, put, by turning this on tap the other battery bank to get it moving again or something like that otherwise <clears throat> this guy over here that we're in the process of building uh need to bring the the components over and speaking of derajijic had a great plan or idea thrown into the the um the comments to check this guy don't truly need the second high-tech research bench now we could we could well still use it i mean to get if we do decide to go with the ship there's a lot of research there though we still have to find an ai persona core but right now there's nine out of ten components just hiding down here so we can copy cancel build another one right there and penalty bad temperature Okay, it wants to be warmer in here, huh? What is temperature in here? It is 39 degrees indoors. Oops. <laughs> Probably should have a heater in here somewhere, huh? Anyway, so there's nine components to add to our 15 and 2. So little by little, we are building up a, a small reserve of them. Should be enough to put in a wood, no, yeah, wood-fired generator over here to help supplement this system along with this one and i think between those and the 14 hours a day in this guy and the unpredictable number of hours for this one we should be able to maintain that light and the equipment that we're going to be using over here and the light bulbs so the only real uh, wild card is when we have to turn this guy on because that is well it's only 250 watts not as bad as i thought so that's going to be probably a use for our second bank of batteries to drain everything down and then turn that off and then gradually start recharging the system again but we'll see and over here we still have a bit of a power issue on this side that we've never been able to uh, to really fix because we can't really build out over here and i don't want to sacrifice much more of this space though we could do some power over here what i thought about is just whoops whoa that was a quick zoom in um to go ahead and put in two more of the chem fuel generators over here and because that's where we're storing the chem fuel anyway so may as well make good use of that and now that we're going to have a, a permanent uh, hauler in daniel which did i reset him i might have through the night yeah you're back to hauling instead of hunting okay so boy if these guys are maxed out now three thousand watts for a maxed out wind turbine 
Okay, that's good to see. So there's an extra 9,000 rolling in here, though it doesn't happen very often. But that will help to maintain us over here. These batteries are hidden over there. And I think I've covered about everything. No, there's two more things to cover. We had an art come in through the night. You, made by Billy. S superior, so a beauty of 200. Called Clump Number 3. Okay, art. On this carving is a portrayal of a spear. The work has a datist feeling and a very static structure. An elk in the background seems to symbolize cataclysm. So, not super personalized for our our colony, but it's 200 beauty, so let's toss it into this dining room and really give us a boost. But with the smoothing alone and the addition of the marble plant pots and the and eventually more plants, we've moved our way up into a very impressive dining room. So that's going to help out a lot. I still need to bust this open and turn this on, or, or, or I mean, uh, build this wall, so we can open this up and let the heat flow through in the winter time and, and flow easily into the hallway and then start working its way through the uh, the vents into the different parts of the uh, of the place but so that art's moving over to there eventually and the last bit of homework to take care of is we now have a where'd he go a gnarly kind of we now have a a mm, yeah let's just fix that one right now i went ahead and and just debbed him into the game so we don't have to wait too many more episodes to get gnarly in here and join things before the series ends so we got gnarly in here now and who is gnarly gnarly grew up in a quiet suburban neighborhood as a child he was never a master of social interaction but his interest in computers blossomed into a true talent at an early age social minus three intellectual plus six as an adult Gnarly did scientific research for a planetary army. He studied war scenarios and designed weapon systems to help win battles with a minimum of fuss. Medicine plus two, what's that got to do with that? And intellectual plus eight, I get that. Though I would like to have seen a shooting passion or something. But I did boost up the shooting to help him out so that he's kind of comparable to where the others are this late in the game and give him a boost to construction because we could sure use the help over there and i think i added a little bit to crafting so there's some uh, um some some ways that he'll be able to contribute to the colony he is a prosthophile so feels limited in his feeble human body often dreams of going bionic he is a fast learner has a knack for learning it picks things up much faster global learning factor of plus 75 and as a jogger i like that one always moves with a sense of urgency so much so that others often fail to keep up so movement speed plus four point four so that is gnarly and let's get gnarly set into the system here restrict gnarly i'm assuming it'll be daytime let me think about that. Is there any reason to offset him with the other ones? Um, where are you at? G, right over there. You are ranged. You can doctor day or night. Definite passion for it. So we'll, we'll put you in the list of doctors so you can get that, that skill uh, uh, kicked up quicker. Um, construction at night with David would actually be kind of nice. Right now, David, Kaya's daytime, right? Yeah, so David is the only real constructor at night. And sometimes it's nice to get two people out there plowing through a, a project. Huh, I'm tempted to do that. Crafting means that components can be done during the night too, though uh, Natalia has been handling that. And there's also the second research bench. So I'm going for nighttime. Gnarly, let me know if you want to, to go back today and I'll switch you back. But I'm going to shoot for night right now. We'll see how this works. So restrict and sleep for gnarly is here. And clean up that. All of those. That. And let's put joy in right there. And if we need to, we'll pop in a second one. But I don't see any real uh, um, needs issues. 
We'll see. Um, you'll have a constant negative four all the time, but that's about it. Cabin fever is because you've been in jail for so long. Little pain is what? Uh, your nose has been shot off. Oops. And you have a pinky bite scar. So, yeah, you'll always have a bit of a negative. Um, otherwise, your mood, little notches there about are, are average, but the same as most of them. And your rival Nielsen died, so there's a quick little bonus of plus two. <laughs> Otherwise, anything else? Um, work. Okay, let's work with that. So, these right there. Doctor, let's make you a one for a doctor. You've got a burning passion for it. I don't think any of the other ones have that other than Tomislav. Yeah, right there. Um, moving through here. Hunt, eventually. Construct. Yes. Is that the primary? Otherwise, there is crafting. Um, we'll go with that. Crafting and hauling is another two. Research would be another two. We'll, we'll figure out how to, how to fine-tune that later. Right now, construction is the biggie. Especially with trying to get all of these uh, generators up and running. So, a sign over here. Gnarly, you've got no drugs and set you as ranged. And right now, let's get you not ranged cowboy. So, any more cowboys in here? No, that allows them to put on toques instead of cowboy hats. Okay, got all that cleared up. Um, melee forced. I'm not sure what was forced. Pigskin duster. I think that was just to get you to put it on one day. Um,. Yeah, I'll clear these out. Uh, David, I did have one forced thing on you, though. That was the, the red duster. That was your your outfit. Faith, smoke pop belt, I'll, I'll leave that. So, David, where'd you go? I'm gonna make sure you hang on to that, that red duster. You, well, if you if you suddenly end up naked at some point, I'll have to uh, see about putting it back on you. Otherwise, I think we're up and going. I think so. Uh, down at the notes, the only thing that's left is to get into Diamond's and Gnarly's bedrooms. I did ask Oath Knight to bring over a bunch of, uh, of, of cotton and get to working on his floor. And he put in one and he's off. He's going to go cook or something. Or eat. He's going to go eat. Okay. And I asked a whole bunch of them to head up here and haul a bunch of stone in. So they should be heading into here to raid all the stone out of this one. Yeah, and they probably emptied the art room too. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and we got these guys coming in. And they are going... I'm assuming we're going to crowd into this area. They are war merchant. So a caravan from Accordamenia is approaching. They are war merchants, so that means pilas and what have you. The war masks. They will hang around the colony for a few days before leaving. You can attack them, but this will anger their faction. So, okay. And Klaus, are you officially done with the malaria? Are you still sitting with the minor developed immunity? 18%. What does that mean? All right, let's try to remember Klaus. He's at 18% now. Is that counting up or is that counting down? I don't know. Wow, we're bringing it all over. Actually, I just needed you to bring it. So you can go clean blood. Is there not a butcher's table available, Shantigo? Over here? Yeah, I want you, Grandma, and I want you, Butcher. It's odd that it wouldn't let you automatically dive into cooking. Let's figure out what caused that. Shantigo, you are a one of cleaning and not a one of of cooking so that's what went wrong there okay in that case clear you and you'll do butchering on your own all right sangre you don't need to stay either and rabbit you don't need to stay either just fill in what you can and you can chop down trees thank you and then what do we got here natalia you just need to drop off as well i just want all the supplies brought up here that oh you yeah, look at that it's it's actually stealing all the rice plants instead of of harvesting them. Oh, I wish I'd realized that. I would have forced them up here to harvest it. We just lost a bunch of food. Uh, Alicia failed. Where is Alicia? Over here. So you can cancel. 
and go ahead and do what you want. David, you actually are a constructor and you're not being forced to do it. So you're doing this on your own. Good. Okay, so back to Gnarly. What are you up to? You went right to work. So, gear. You've got a still advanced helmet. You've got a pack of wool t shirts 67%. You've got a power armor, 76%. You've got that Darth Vader look going on. And cloth pants, green. <laughs> okay. Um, these are charging up well. We've got to get these dumped before we get a zit over here. But let's take a chance on the day. Failed while constructing. Let's clear you. You you don't need to be building either. Just got to be bringing. So that one is set to go away. Now it is. And was there a tree or something in here? Right there. And chop you. And Klaus, you are here for good. If I got rid of that, you'd work on this anyway. Good. And I did ask somebody to Faith to bring uh, Steel up there to work on the conduit too. Faith, you are consuming a fine meal. I should take care of your break. Um, what else? I guess that's flowing really well. Anybody outside for any strange reasons? And no herds out here except these guys. And I'm hesitant to... I, I pulled... Daniel off, off of hunting. I'm kind of hesitant to have just one or two for any reason wandering out there when we're, we've are we been so long without a raid. I'm just expecting a whole pack of something to, to come crashing in on us soon. So I'd say we want to take care of these three. And are they switched on? We could just switch them off. Could do that, but it's so quick to put you know some granite down there. Do we have granite down here? Think about that. I know we had marble. Then we got more marble now. Good. It's got marble and granite. Okay. Let's find somebody to do that. Handy, you were sound asleep. That's right. Uh, needs, you're kind of there now. Let's just take you. You, you must have worked most through, most through the night. That's right. You were working on this generator over here. And, you know, just kept going to like three or four in the morning. So you just went to bed. But you're far enough now and your food is good for a little while. Let's have you work on these three things specifically. Deconstruct that, deconstruct that, that, and that. And then let's get these five, boy, I keep staggering or jumping each time I go. I have like a rage dropping in, spooks me. Um, then we'll get these five walls, uh, block walls rebuilt and we'll be done with uh, barriers or bulkheads we'll call them for uh, infestations down here. So that would be, let's go in with the granite. We've got granite out in this area, easy access, so let's put it in. So there, there, here and here, stop, you are granite. Okay, so Handy, you're building a marble wall somewhere. Why don't you, first of all, move the, uh, know where to put the steel. Well. Work on the granite walls. So move that, and then stop, and let's work on this granite wall. Great, and now you can bring granite for both of them. We'll get this going. And I'm just going to have to babysit this because they're not near enough to each other to, uh, to be able to get this done easy enough. That needs to be done too, but I... Yeah, I canceled the mining, so that kind of has taken a place of that. We can just walk around or whatever. Uh, you went to here, so you're on your way back, and you are bringing turkey leather. How are the meals doing? We have not much kibble right now. And meals, there you are. 50, so we're getting low on meals. There wasn't much butchering going on. That was the problem with that. We didn't have any meat. Okay, Handy, you do that one. Now you are building a marble wall over here. Nope. Come on over and work on this one. And then work on this one. Get you to move the steel. And then you can go and bring the blocks to each one. Do that. You are marble wall. You are granite wall. Klaus is breaking. Okay, what have I got Klaus set to do? But first of all, okay, you're constructing that one. Then you're going to come back and construct this one. And then you're going to come back and construct this one. Okay, Klaus, what you up to? 
you are consuming a fine meal. Okay, you'll be fine. And for some reason, Cyprian is going to eat right here. Why would that be? I don't know. But, you know, let's don't. Thank you. <laughs> if you were to go over there, grab one of those, will you go back to the dining room? So why did he stop there to eat? Maybe at that time all four chairs were full. That's possible. Thank you, Diamond. Appreciate it. Yep, let's do that. And, um, no, Vliss is going to eat right there. Why? So you are no gathering spot, and you are no gathering spot. So that's not yet. That is really weird. So, Vliss, how about you, um... Oh, you can't move the meal because now it's a prisoner. Now it's a hot... Uh, yeah, a prison meal. <laughs> okay, now you can move the meal, right? Bliss. Yeah, now, can you haul that meal back? Now, you know, don't haul it... Oh, you gotta haul it all the way back to the other place. Okay. Um, <clears throat> draft. Consume it. And this is no longer a prison. Oh, RimWorld. Those little, little details. Now if I... No, now it's a prison meal. Oh. Okay. I need you to haul this. And I need you to haul it to a place that's not in a prison. <laughs> so once you get out to here, then I can say... Draft, pick it up, and eat it in a dining room. Oh, that was painful. Okay, what else is happening around here? Um, we got, oh, we've got uh, lunchtime for the uh, Accord of Menio. They're they're hauling all their their pemmican in. And they're they're going to go for this really nice dining room, but they want they like the rough area up here. Yeah, it feels more like home. Anyway, we've got Kemba here who needs to talk to somebody. So Klaus was over there. He's building marble wall. You're close enough. Come on over and find out if you still cannot trade. You have developed immunity. But does that mean that you're no longer sick? That's one of those gray areas. Eric failed while constructing a wall and no warning sign. I can use Klaus again. Oh, they take animals. Oh. Hmm. Except, pause. Let's think about animals. Okay. What do we have too many of? that we don't want to slaughter. We haven't added much in the way of dogs. That's still roughly 20, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 would be to about there. So maybe 22. Okay. So we haven't added too much to the, uh, the burden there. Pigs, we've been doing some adding. But pigs, we will um, eat. Though we'd get more silver if we didn't. Hmm. That's there, that's there. Otherwise, four boomalopes is what I like to maintain. And we get a really bad infestation where they're scattered in three or four different places. Then it's going to take more than, you know, usually two boomalopes per zone to heat it up. Because quite often the, the bugs will will down a boomalope and not kill it. And then it can take for, you know, a couple of days to it to finally pass away and blow up so it takes a couple of tries sometimes cows I only have one adult the rest are, are calves that's nothing to sell there we got three muffaloes we only need two but one's a baby or juvenile so we can't do much over there and these guys here we're just going to eat so in fact there's already well two females two males and a female so we can go ahead and and uh, say you can uh you know, you can, you can eat turkey four. Otherwise, I guess there's not much for us to sell. Okay. All right. Um, Boomalopes, do we have ages over here? Well, we'll have ages in the uh, the selling uh, right there. Boomalope ages will be... I'm not seeing a boomalope. <clears throat> there? Yeah. So six and five. And then three. And we have an eight. And they go to 15. 15. Okay. So only half 
of their life expectancy so far. Okay, so there's not much we can do animal-wise. We can just kind of skip this whole part. They do have a boom lobe to sell us. Is that what I'm getting? So that's their boom lobe. So we have two boom lobes, six female, one year old. Okay, I get it. So ours are even younger. Okay, move on through all the animals. They have a warg to sell. They have pemmican to sell. They have herbal medicines to sell. We will take all of it. And we're losing 314 going that way. So I got that right. So over here, woodshove, clubs, iqua, spear, shoddy, pila, recurve bow, great bow, pila. All right, pants. Don't need any of these. That's a panther skin jacket. Ooh. Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> I'll let you guys fight over that one. Um, no, no, no tribal, cloth tribal headdresses. Uh, a furry husky bowler hat. Yeah, I'd be curious to see who automatically picks that one up. Okay, just for, for variety. Wooden war mask. And a synthread cowboy hat. You know, I just got to thinking, if I were to pick up that wooden war mask, I'd be curious to see if somebody would would start wearing that. I can see Eric going out there and grabbing that or something. We'll see. Otherwise, lots of hate. And we've got three statues. The two normals can go away. Okay. Otherwise, any D's in here? We just kind of glance through for that. I think we've gotten rid of all that before, but the last one was orbital right there. So the orbital uh, may not have been uh, catching all of the different zones available for storing things. Oh, it doesn't. These are the ones, those 2Ds are the ones that are out there in the uh, that, that tunnel pathway um, outside of the gauntlet. So that's where those were. That's why they're going to pick them up. Which means there's a few other really low quality percentage ones in the middle of that too. Okay, so we got rid of the 2Ds and let's look through all of our stuffs and see what can go away. Plasteel, uh, that's theirs. Normal 61 bolt action. We're probably not going to end up using that. Let's go ahead and do that one. Um, auto pistol, 63% assault rifle. I don't know how many assault rifles we've got just sitting around. Need to get at least one onto Gnarly right now. There's one right there, normal. And so oh, two of them, two normals. Okay, let's get rid of the 63%. Okay, so rolling through here again. Grenades, got rid of those two. There's a poor 56. A shoddy 74 t-shirt. We can get some use, more use out of that. We get rid of the 56 and 49. Um, those are fine into here. Normal, poor. Right there. Get rid of the 56 toque. And I think it was there. 62 steel helmet. That's about the bottom what they're willing to wear. 59 advanced helmet. No one's wearing those two anymore. Another helmet. So 55, they're not wearing them anymore. Okay. So same with these. We do need to make more helmets. Yeah. Uh, keep the psychic foils. Two and three of each. Okay. Uh, steel advanced helmet. And these. Okay. We're done. They're going to give us 200. Okay. Except in Buzz. Buzz. Alright, so what did they just sell us right there? Um, Klaus, grab the medicine. Thank you. And we'll pick up the other ones, or a dog or something. We'll pick up the other ones and put them all away. Okay, then with that, what's left? As far as I know, unless a raid drops in, my next priority is to... Besides let them just kind of randomly work on all this stuff over the next couple of episodes. Is to get Diamond and Gnarly's bedrooms up and running. So, Handy, good. You're dropping things off. Hauling granite to wall. Let's see, how's your... Let's break you and go get some food. No, you want that alpaca wool toque. Yeah. Um, gear, because your toque is only double strand 98%. I don't think so. Go up here and get a meal. 
<laughs> so I tell you, sometimes um, consume that, and I need a cleaner. Shantigo, when you're done consuming that meal, can you get in here and clean up your kitchen, please? Thank you. That's that's a mess. And who's in this area that is one of ours? Manuela is, who's hauling silver in. Why would you be hauling silver in? Work, Manuela. Because your grow is... Huh. No, that's not it. I mean, your plant cut is a one. You don't have hauling as a one, so you you come back over here to growing. And apparently there's no growing. So you dropped into hauling and then cleaning. Huh. Okay. No growing, huh? So even over here, we've got room here for some more trees. That's rather weird. Manuela, let's see where you at now. Uh, where are you at? There you are, Manu. And if we were to, you're hauling turkey dead to hunting freezer. Huh, where do we have a dead, oh, okay. But why are you not sewing? Is it too cold to sew? Yeah, I can't right click in here anywhere. Okay, how are we doing over here? 70% grown, I don't think it's gonna give us any cloth at 70%. And you're 51%, so those are probably a loss. Um, over here, we do have potato plants. Hmm, let's, let's just get that done. Orders, and let's harvest this group and be done with it. Okay, and for that matter, a lot of this was ready too. It was all in the 90-some percents. Let's do those, get those all done, and that'll be the, uh, uh, the plant cut. So quite a few are still set as ones for that. Okay, well, we get a lot of the the stone brought over. So, it's 1800. Let's take a quick little roll call here. Who is in the area of the... Whoa, not many stones left. That makes a difference. So, there's one stack there, and that's about it for marble. Okay, so, Tomislav, you bring a bunch of marble. How many is there? Um, there. So, 20, 31, 44... That is it. Okay. 44, and who's... Nobody's stuck on components right now. Okay. So, Vliss, I could... Yeah. Well, now I'm going to leave you alone. I was going to have him just make some quick marble, but uh, we need dusters and things. It's it's getting cold out. So, 44 blocks is... These are 5 each. Yeah. 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30. If I were to do right there... So that would be, Tomislav, load up that. Is there a chance you'll be able to hit this, that, and maybe over in here and get all 44 brought over? That's what I want to know. Otherwise, there's no more to bring in to finish this area. Okay. Now, no com uh, electrical things got built. That's good. Anybody over here that can shoot? Kaya, you, character, skill 11. Why don't you do me a favor and, and give me a turkey? We'll haul this in. Just continue to, to add to. Come on now. We're in the dark and we're shooting around rocks. Okay, let's try you right over here. And fire. Does that make a difference? Chance of hitting 25%. So every fourth one, yep. Okay, like shooting fish in a barrel. Let's make this happen. 26%. Got him. And do me a favor and haul that in, and it'll be time for you to get to some joy. Oh, your joy is okay. I think you like construction, so it's been building up your joy all day. And Tomasov didn't bring it all over, but that's fine. Go use the telescope. You're, you're off for the day. Faith, <clears throat> you're going for a walk. Okay, that works. And what else is going on? Day is gone. I never got a chance to make sure that Handy finished her work down here. So she got that one in, that one in, these two in. We have this one left, and we're sealed, and then we need to get work on this. 
okay so in that case handy you are watching television needs you don't really need any more of it so we can get you to do that one and otherwise who else is construction savvy Tomislav needs you do need your joy I'll leave you alone otherwise Klaus can do construction but he needs his joy and rolling through here Eric can he's joy deprived so is David um, Kaya is in good shape she's hauling the turkey so after you haul the turkey you'll be up near where the wood is stored for the wood generators so let's have you bring over a load of wood including what it takes to get this bed worked on then faith um radar is good at construction he needs his joy Phyllis is good at it he needs his joy he is resting right now um he does need his joy though Phyllis, you are down here if i were to I don't know. You won't obey the 20, 100 hour anyway because your rest is on the line. Okay. So you go and do that. And otherwise, we've got um, Oath Knight wasn't. Daniel, were you construction? Not really. You're only a six. Gnarly, you're a, you're a 10, but you've been up all day. You. No, you just finished up. Okay, good. So you are where right now? You are wearing a camel hair toque. Okay. So you do that and then... Oh, we got wood over here too. Good. So let's have you bring a bunch of wood over and start filling in some of your own bedroom over here. Okay. So it's, it's painful to go through the list to get them to do certain things sometimes. <laughs> We got a pretty good charge on this. Let's get that turned off. Those are the batteries that are heading north. And otherwise, they're not really invading our base as much this time. Good. Look at all the, the potatoes rolling in. So I take it we were wiping out the stuff. Where was it? It was this one right here. Okay. So we started to get some of that work. Getting the last of the stuff hauled in. I see David's up here working. Eric is up there working good. And we just need to get a lot more marble made. Hmm. David is deconstructing power conduit. Really? No, he was constructing, not deconstructing. Okay. Because we're still we still have a circuit, right? Yeah, I'm gonna move that circuit around, but we are still actually connected. Good. Okay. And that's right, I gotta remember to reconnect this when we get back into here okay so kind of watching things here you guys are able to travel this route no you're not using it I wonder do I ever I never did that I made that route but I didn't make it available to them zone home zone no I did they just don't want to use it interesting there's um, concrete here so it could be that the concrete because it's got a flas faster run speed that it, it calculates that pathway instead. Okay. Now, how did we do over here? We need to actually assign somebody to get back to work on this. Mental break of Kaya this time. Who is hauling wood? Um, yeah, she's fine otherwise. Maybe just in the dark or something. Hug the environment. Um, where'd you go? Oh, it's already gone. Hunter lacks weapon. Ah. Gnarly, you are building marble wall. Let's have you grab a... Oh, let's see. We'll go with the normal assault rifle for now. Yeah. Unless you want a minigun, let me know. I'm sure that uh, Oath Knight would love to have a, a partner in crime with a minigun until we get a hold of a chain shotgun, if that interests you. Or go ahead and make one. But get you to do that and then bring more wood down into here. That's not gnarly. There. And who was the other one bringing wood? I don't remember, but it didn't happen. This one, we got a poor quality bed, so we're going to have to undo that one. So let's deconstruct you. Otherwise, I don't know where gnarly actually assigned himself a bed. He did go for there. Okay. So we need to get a... David, probably. I mean, your construction is now 15, 17. Yeah, let's get David to, uh, to work on this. Kaya, 
jumped in here. Got a good bed. Mm, we can do better yet. <clears throat> Tell you what, let's just build a bed and build a bed. And David, you're doing what right now? You're consuming a meal. Good. Then you can come over here and do that. Oops. But not until you're done consuming that meal. Sorry. There, you consume that meal. And then get you down here to rebuild or build that one. And that one. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. See how much wood you bring over. Okay, you right now are resting. Okay. Pause. You're heading for here. And clean this one up for me on your way. Your room's looking good. So who else is kind of wandering through the halls and didn't make it to their bed yet? And I can still stop them and say, uh, 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 you've got, uh, actually you got a clean room in there. You usually get, you guys usually have a mess in there. Um, Sea Stars looks good. And I don't want to do rooms where they're already sleeping, like Eric's mess here. But you could get into David's room. No, that's not a mess there. He's clean, okay? George and Bill. No, nope. you're fine. Okay. Who else up here, though? So, yeah, they're looking pretty good. This one has got a little bit right there. Handy, you're where at the moment? You are resting. Okay. Uh, needs, you're fine there. So, hit this on your way. Cleaning dirt. Okay. Otherwise, did... Nope, oh, Oath Knight did get more stuff brought in here. Okay. Curious. Handy, it is midnight. Needs, you're still doing okay. How about instead you bring in enough um, cotton to load up this area and then clean that and go to bed. That way when you wake up in the morning, you'll just start building the, the carpeting. I guess that's what I need to do. Each one of these rooms, if I think of it, when Oath Knight gets up, I'll have him just lay all the carpet out, then go off and eat. And then eventually somebody will pop in there and build it. So what is left? Grandma's room is left to do that too. Handy and Tomasov's room. Oath Knight's room. That's about it. So diamond and gnarly. Let me know if you want smooth floors, if you want a certain color carpeting. Though it's possible if it's carpeting, it may wait for a while. I don't know what our supply is once these three existing rooms get done. It's... where are we in cotton right now? <clears throat> I'm looking for it. There it is. That one. 720. It's 250-ish per room. So yeah, we're... carpet's gonna be next spring. Time we... Get through the growing, get through the winter, get into the next growing season, and pick a field and plant it with cotton. Probably a field like, well, not near the food. Let's make sure it's all or near the storage. Just make sure that's all food all the time. Mohawk is pregnant, so it means probably something in here for cotton, unless we get out into here and do one of these. That's possible. Otherwise, David, for the night, you are watching television because you need it, okay? And gnarly through the night. You're needing a meal, you're getting it, and you're done, and you're ready for an assignment. Building green carpet, no, 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 no. Let's not wake them up. Let's get you, oh, we got a good wooden bed. <laughs> Looks like we're not gonna get much better. Um, David, when you're done, come over and work on that one. Gnarly, come on over and tear this one down. This good one. We could sell, so just uninstall this one. And yeah, uninstall that one. We'll try one more time. Okay, you do all those, and then I'm just gonna run you around the place for a while. Why don't you get that installed? And what else is critical? Just little odds and ends stuffs. Um, you've got a construction of 10? The uh, character 10. You could spend the rest of the night getting this up and running. Yeah, I think so. Um, is that the one to do? This might be better. It's snowing. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Well, how much food is still out here? Okay. Roll call. Character. Uh, growing one. <laughs> Billy. 
growing three. Cyprian! Zero. <laughs> Who can come out here at four? I think we will lose. Well, hmm. Sea Stars, you are digging at limestone. Let's have you come out and cut this group right here before we lose these plants. I may just have to wake up a bunch of people. Uh, but who's already awake that's got any decent skills? I'd like to have at least six and more. Zero. Miss a P. Four. Natalia. Not. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna. Growing 17. Rabbit, who's probably... Oh, he just woke up. Ah, Rabbit, get up here. Harvesting hay grass. Oh, that's got to be done, too. Even though we've got lots, you never have enough. Let's go ahead and trigger all this for... for. Yep, harvest will work. Okay, there, there, and there. That is the end of the hay grass. Okay, that, although there's still some in here. Nope, we just lost the rest of it. What are you? Hay grass cut 63 percent rabbit you are going to this area okay that's fine that's fine so you're doing it i need to get everybody up here to do it three in the morning what is automatic it was till four in the morning let's well i'll do it this way so everybody who's capable of it character and growing eight tomislav congratulations and you've got well you need some food you're gonna starve on me Come up and grab a meal. Uh, you, you, a simple meal will be fine with you. You don't need the bonus. And then... Hmm. Let's give you everything down in here. Okay, so that whole chunk is done. Next, handy. Um... We'll work with that much rest. Growing eight. Yep. So food, you were fine, right? Fine enough. Okay. Draft. Not draft. But come on down to here and work on this whole section of, of the hay grass over here. So yeah, we're going to have a bunch of clicky clicks for a little while. But you can do this area. Those and that. Okay, a lot of this is going to disappear before we even get to it. Rabbit, you are already doing a Shantigo. Can you grow? You can. Seven. And needs. You're decent. Food's going to be a problem for you. Um, needs. You're actually really good over here. So let's just give you a simple meal as well. So hop on up and grab part of that right there. And then... Let's get this set for harvest as well. Call you done, you done. What else is left? Anything in there? Got one right there. Out here? No, don't do that. Let's just do that. And anything left over here that has any potential? Ooh, it's all potential. Okay. There. Those are not. Okay. I'll tell you what. I will zip out and tune back in when I've got everybody assigned because I'm going to have to comb through everybody. All right, get ready to hear the collective moan. Oh, man, you woke me up. What do you mean it's snowing? Oh, man, I got to go cut plants. It's three in the morning. Yep, yep, it's, I, can, I, can, I can hear it. How right, about where'd you go? No, you're not going to go play chess. Okay, get up here. I didn't assign you because I thought you were the responsible one. <laughs> you're you're the, the lead uh, um, gardener, I guess we'll say. Ornamentalist? Horticulturalist? I don't know. Whatever title you, fancy title you want to use. That's that group there. Did we... Yeah, I got all those assigned. And I got these assigned. Okay, let's do that. And you're going back in. Okay, yep, it's snowing. And I'm curious to see if we'll see them disappearing. Temperature outside <clears throat> is 25. So we should see these just start to vanish on their own. Though it may be more of a lower temperature than that. We'll see. I stared at this a while. Was there one right there? 
Let me just stare at this right here. I'm not seeing anything else going. It's good to see he's plowing through these that quick. For that matter, since you're here, let's just get you to do that next. Cathro will thank you for that. But by the time she gets here, what did I just click on? Cleaning. Great. <laughs> okay, well, you take care of that batch there and do some cleaning. Here comes Bill. He's going to go tackle that area up in there. And we got somebody else to tackle these areas. Alicia, you're going to hit all of this. Um, I got Sangria to get out and take care of all of this. We just might get the temperature to warm up enough now that day's coming to save the rest of this. But we're going to be officially done. Oh, there's more over here. That's out in the cold, too. So we'll go ahead and order all of this to be harvested as much as possible. And <clears throat> we'll get what little out of it we can. Uh... They're leaving, that's fine. And I guess I will be leaving too. Um, I think I'm getting close to the 50 minute mark, I'm guessing. Whenever I have to cut out a section, I'm always left wondering uh, how many minutes are actually up there. But uh, no raid, nothing hit. Any new herds? Oh, we've got some deer over here. Maybe we'll start there next time and see if a raid drops in on us at the same time. It's snowing, which I think means we can also play with these guys. Um, we've got just a dusting of snow on the ground. Dusting might not be enough to offset fire. But if we can get into a full-blown... Well, it's a gentle snow still. That's like a rain. Hmm. I'll pause there and think about things. Decide whether we're going to quickly squeeze that in or not. So, yep, I guess we'll call it in there. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.